Okay, I just went to make a cup of tea and there were no tea bags. What good is that? Oh well. Um, what we're going to do next is um, some conditional formatting. So we have all of this lovely data here that's been put into um, the, the spreadsheet. So we want to go and do it so that it's more obvious where people are achieving well or underachieving or whatever it might be. Um, so uh, that can, this can be done in many ways. Personally, I would have um, a set of data here from the Midias data so that I would know what level they're supposed to be at. Um, uh, sort of more information, benchmarking information at the start of my mark book. So I have a quick reference to the levels that they're at. And that takes a little while to set up at the beginning, but you can export it from Sims and it's all good. From Sims? Maybe not. Maybe from um, the data that Charlie sends out. Anyway, let's go and do conditional formatting. So I'll drop this down. I'm going to create a new rule. Um, now there are different options and far too many options for me to go through everything. So I'm going to take you to places that kind of makes sense you go and have a play I think it's the idea as you take kind of ownership over your mark book and you you change things how you wish them um, so I'm going to do format only cells that contain and then I have these choices here bom, 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 blanks dates specific text cell value I'm going to stick with cell value I could do it between two different values um, I'm going to show you this quickly. So if I do it, say, between 0 and 3, so I want to catch all of the bottom people, I'm going to click on Format, um, and I'm going to format them in a beautiful um, mauve colour, um, and click on OK. This is uh, I'm doing the fill here, sorry. You could do borders, fonts, uh, numbers. So you could actually have multiple filters if you wanted to do the borders and change the border colour, something like that. Click on OK, anyway. And click OK again. And you'll see that that's now applied to every cell that contains a 0 or a 3, 0, 2 or 3, um, but it's also filled in some blank cells, um, which isn't necessarily very good. Pupil 11 obviously wasn't here for all of this work, must have joined school late. Um, so, right. So that's not perfect, because I don't want this, uh, the, the, the blanks done um, at all. So. All we're going to do is go and change that. So I'm going to click on conditional and then conditional format again and then manage rules. So here is the rule. Um, so I'm going to edit the rule. And instead of it being between, I am going to put it um, equal to, and it's going to equal the number three. Uh, now I look through the spreadsheet and I know there's nothing below a three there. So that's going to serve our purpose anyway. And this is kind of the point. What you can also, do, so th this will stop it highlighting the blank cells as you can see right brilliant so now um, I'm gonna go and do the fours so um, I'm gonna highlight the cells again here they all are and I'm gonna do conditional and new rule and cells that cell value is equal to number four now what's gonna be interesting here is do we get four plus and four minus in this um, so let's go and format that um, these shiny happy people are going to get a light blue click on OK click on OK and you can see that it has not um, done the 4 plus and 4 minus which doesn't really help as much does it so I'm going to hang on a sec right so I've just gone to amend that rule and um, just to test it I'll show you what happened because it's quite interesting and you'll learn more I think so if I go and edit this, instead of putting equal to, no, instead of using cell value, I used specific text equals four. Um, click on OK, click on OK. And you can see now the four pluses and four minuses are highlighted in the background. However, where I've used alternative marks, 49, 47, 40, 54, whatever, um, they are all highlighted as well. So that has not worked. So I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna go and do, the, do it again. Um, because what I would have to do there is I could go and edit this rule, but I think that I'm go what I'm going to have to do is um, a new rule um, for everything that is exactly what I want it to. So I think if we've got four minus um, and formatted again, same colour. Is that the same colour? No, that one's the same. Click on OK. Click on OK. And um, oh, and yeah, that didn't work because I didn't highlight the cells. Don't. Conditional formatting. Uh, manage rules, cell values equal minus 4, click on OK, um, no, it's a sheet, oh, sorry, I'm just 
doing there and changing for the desk to the sort of where that's supposed to be. And uh, click on OK. And now you can see all the four minuses have been done as well. And I would go and repeat this um, for every one where I wanted them the same colour. So I could um, distinguish the fours from the fives um, from the sixes. Um, again, if I had some reference benchmarking data, we'd actually talk about progress and whether those um, uh, students were above or not. Um, then one of the things that we could do, if that um, uh, one of the next things that we could do is to average up all of these scores. However, we've got a mixture of text and numbers here, and these numbers aren't going to make any sense. So that's uh, one of the things to um, think about is that um, when you're doing this sort of thing, um, if you have numerical data, we could actually go and average this across the whole uh, uh, sections of work to see how well they've done. But because we have different kinds of scores, we are unable to do this, um, which is worthy of note. However, what we can do is an average. So we could do an average here of everything that's in that everyone achieved in this um, um, in this particular piece of work. So we can do an average, and then we open up the brackets, and then I'm just going to go and highlight that column of numbers that I want, like so. Close the brackets, press Enter, um, and then I'm going to go and format that cell um, into a number, and so it only has so it has no decimal places, and click on OK. So I can see that that um, is the average for. Uh, this piece of work is 21 out of 25. Very good. I'm going to leave it there for now because this has now gone over nine minutes. Um, and I'll do another one with some other things.